welcome to this video about TVEC. TVEC is a very unusual type of cancer treatment and one that melanoma focus often gets asked about. This video builds on various ideas that I mentioned in the Understanding Immunotherapy video, so you might find it helpful to watch that video before this one. My hope is that by the end of this video, you'll have a much better sense as to what TVEC is and why it's only given to a small number of people with melanoma. This is the list of questions I want to answer in this video. What is TVEC? How is it different from other cancer treatments? How does it work? Why doesn't everyone get offered it? How much does it help the people it's given to? I'll start by looking at the first two questions. TVEC is a modified version of a naturally occurring virus. I've given you a rough drawing of the virus here. Viruses are tiny compared to the cells that make up our body. This diagram is very much not to scale. Viruses are in fact so small that thousands of virus particles can fit inside a single human cell. This image is of a dying human cell, which is heavily infected by SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. So it's not the virus used to create TVEC, but I hope this image can give you a sense of scale. Human cells are too small to be seen with the naked eye. And yet here we see thousands of yellow coronavirus particles stuck to the surface of a single human cell, which has been colored a bluey purple by a computer program. Viruses are completely natural and there are thousands of different ones. They can't multiply on their own. So what they do is that they infect a host cell by first attaching to a protein sticking out from its surface. Once inside the cell, they instruct it to make thousands of extra copies of the virus. Eventually, the cell bursts open, releasing thousands of new copies of the virus into its surroundings. These new virus particles infect and destroy neighboring cells and so the infection spreads through the tissue. So that's what a natural virus does. But what about TVEC? Well, TVEC is a modified version of a virus called the herpes simplex virus 1, or HSV1. HSV1 was chosen as the starting point for TVEC because it naturally infects skin cells and because it's better at replicating inside cancer cells than healthy cells, which are both useful properties. I've given these properties the thumbs up. But HSV1 also infects nerve cells. It causes blisters and cold sores and it hides itself from the person's immune system, all of which are unhelpful properties. I've given them the thumbs down. HSV1 also kills the cells it infects. I've given this a thumbs up and a thumbs down because it would be great if the virus had infected a cancer cell, but not great if the infected cell were a healthy skin cell. What scientists have done is to use HSV1 as their starting point, but then they've changed it. They've enhanced the properties that got a thumbs up, like the virus's ability to infect cancer causing skin cells, but they've blocked or reversed the properties that got a thumbs down. So they've created a version of HSV1 that can infect and destroy cancer cells, but that is much less likely to harm healthy cells. That brings us to how TVEC is given and how it works. TVEC is injected directly into the person's tumors, ones that are on the surface of their skin and ones that lie beneath the surface, but can be located using ultrasound. TVEC then infects cancer cells and replicates inside them. Eventually, the infected cells burst open, releasing more copies of the virus into their surroundings. These newly produced viruses then infect more cancer cells and so on. Hopefully what you've learned so far is that TVEC will selectively infect and destroy cancer cells, but on its own, that's not enough. The virus will never manage to infect every single cell in a tumor. In fact, in order for a virus to completely cure someone, it needs to act as a trigger 
for the patient's immune system. And that's where the immunotherapy side of TVEC comes in. Because when TVEC destroys cancer cells, it creates lots of cancer cell debris that emits danger signals to the immune system. Also, TVEC has been designed so that it's much more visible to our immune system than the natural virus. As with the checkpoint inhibitors like nivolumab, and pembrolizumab, the immune cells that are activated by TVEC are cytotoxic T cells. What happens is that when TVEC has killed sufficient cancer cells, the debris this creates attracts white blood cells called dendritic cells. And these dendritic cells start hoovering up some of this debris. When they're fully loaded up with debris, dendritic cells then travel to nearby lymph nodes. We have hundreds of lymph nodes scattered throughout our body. They're little bean-shaped clumps of tissue where lots of white blood cells congregate and communicate with each other. And it's here where dendritic cells take their debris and show it to T cells. In response, some T cells become active and they travel to nearby tumors and start attacking and destroying any remaining cancer cells. In some people, these T cells actually travel far and wide in their body, mopping up cancer cells wherever they find them. This means that even tumors that haven't been injected can start getting smaller. So TVEC has the ability to directly kill cancer cells and to trigger an immune response directed against the person's cancer cells. You might be left wondering why TVEC isn't offered to everyone with melanoma. And the answer is that for many people, there are other treatments that would work better for them. For example, if a person is diagnosed with a melanoma that hasn't shown any signs of spread, then surgery might well be enough to cure them. But if their disease has started to spread, then they might need extra treatment with a checkpoint inhibitor or targeted therapy. And if the disease has spread to internal organs, surgery probably won't help them, but treatment with checkpoint inhibitors or targeted therapies often will. The people most likely to benefit from TVEC are a specific group. They are people who have tumors on or underneath their skin, and possibly also in accessible lymph nodes. Crucially, it has to be possible to inject these tumors with TVEC. So as you might imagine, this is a relatively small and very specific group of patients. And in addition, sometimes a person's doctor might feel that a different local treatment, like ECT, would be more appropriate for them. The final part of this video is about what evidence we have that TVEC is useful. These are some of the results from the biggest study conducted into how well TVEC works. It was called the OPTIM study. It involved about 450 people with melanoma. People in the study were randomly allocated to receive either TVEC or GMCSF. GMCSF is a treatment that boosts various white blood cells, but it's not normally given as a treatment on its own. This table shows the combined data from everyone treated in the trial. In this table, I've shown you the data for people whose disease hadn't spread to their internal organs. You can see that they did much better than the people given GMCSF. The trial also included people whose disease had spread to their internal organs, but these people didn't appear to benefit from TVEC in the same way. Because of this data, TVEC was approved as a treatment on the NHS in September 2016, but only for people who can't be treated with surgery and whose disease hasn't spread to their internal organs. One last thing to mention about TVEC is the side effects it causes. Most people experience a short-lived flu-like illness and only a tiny number need hospital care. As a result of the OPTIM trial, we know that TVEC can be a useful treatment for a specific group of patients. 
However, because it's a modified virus, there are lots of rules, regulations, and requirements controlling how it's stored, given to patients, and disposed of. There are also very detailed instructions controlling how it is delivered to patients. Also, as you could see from the trial results, TVEC doesn't help everyone it's given to, and there's a lot of room for improvement. I'll finish with a quick summary. I began by saying that TVEC is a modified version of a natural virus, and the virus it's based on is a herpes simplex virus called HSV-1. The HSV-1 virus has been changed to make it better able to infect and destroy cancer cells and better able to trigger an immune response. For some people, this immune response even leads to the destruction of tumors that weren't injected. The makers have also made it much safer than the natural virus. But TBEC is only suitable for a small number of patients, people who wouldn't benefit from surgery or other treatments and whose tumors can be injected. And practical issues around safety, storage, distribution and delivery also limit who can receive it. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to know more about immunotherapy or about targeted therapies for people with melanoma, these are covered in other videos.